cover it with tape. And this is a crystal lacquer. It's got a nozzle that you're going to use that comes with it. And you're going to just simply apply this where we want the color to go. Like so. This is really, really easy. Um, and it just makes the most amazing cards. Just amazing. Woo! See, that's what happened. Okay, hang on. Because I'm actually going to keep using this. Hang on, let me grab a brush. Okay, I'm just using one of my little brushes here. I'm going to spread this around. This actually might even be easier to do it this way. Okay, and just wipe it off. It also happened to me yesterday. And I'm not too worried about it. Okay. So that's what that does. But I'm thinking this might actually work better. All right. Let me get this out of here for now. Okay. Sorry about that. But see, that kind of stuff happens. But I don't think it's a big deal. All right. So I'm going to take my darkest color here. And I am going to apply it to my little butterfly. And they had tweezers that they used. I think I'll do that too. And I'm just going to take my color and I'm going to sprinkle it, sprinkle, sprinkle, right onto my butterfly. You want to make sure you coat it really well. Okay, then I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to tap it. And I'm going to check it for any bare spots. And I see a couple, so I'm just going to go back over it. This stuff is so cool, you guys. You will not believe it. It's like stained glass. Okay, so I've got my first color on. I still see a couple more little spots. Okay, all right, so that was my first color. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to wipe off my little spoon. Now I'm going on to the amethyst color, and I am going to pick up my butterfly again, and I'm going to sprinkle this right where I want it, and I'm going to blend it right in with that other color. And then, I see a couple little bare spots, so I'm just going to gently, hopefully this isn't going to squirt out again, cover, go back, if you see any little bare spots. You go back and do that. Maybe. Maybe. Like that. Look how pretty this is. It's a little spot. How pretty. Can you see all the sparkle? OMG! I love this. I see one other little spot here. Look how pretty. Can you see the sparkles? OMG. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to add one more color. Hopefully, I've got a little bit of room left. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this down here. I don't know if it'll take it all, but it sure is. Oh, gosh, this stuff is so cool, you guys. Can you see how sparkly that is? I hope you can because it is just the bomb. 
All right, so you're going to set your little butterfly aside to dry. Then they also sell this product. This is their sticky tape. So I really want my, um, I want my butterfly to really be the focus here. So I'm not going to be using any kind of pattern paper or anything like that. Um, but what I'm going to do now is a cool technique to make like rainbows. This is PK Glitz's, um, oh, these band-aids are driving me crazy. This is their brand of sticky tape. It's the half inch size and you just peel it off and I'm going to do like a rainbow effect on my sticky strip. So you just want to cover it up really good. Don't worry if there's some on the white part of your card. When we're done, we're going to go back and get it all off. And I'll show you how you do that. Let me just wipe my little spoon off. Oh, I'm so excited about this stuff. It was so, the, the stuff they had was incredible. On display, OMG. Okay, so see how that makes a really cool... Um, rainbow effect and then you just take this little brush and you just wipe it off beautiful okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to apply this to my card because I really want my butterfly to be the focus here I don't want to have any pattern paper or anything isn't that stunning beautiful it's so pretty and then I am going to attach my butterfly. I'm going to use some glue dots, kind of rolled up. Um, the woman there used a pop dot, which is fine too, but I'm going to do this. And you might want to let this just dry a little bit more. I didn't give this a whole lot of time. Um, come on. Oh no. Do a pop dot. That's what she used. A little white pop dot. Well, that's not working. My glue dot works. So hang on, let me go back to my glue dot. I just didn't let this dry very long. figure this out. It worked last time, but my glitter was a little drier. Just sing amongst yourselves. We're listening to the Dixie Chicks today. This thing is like stuck to my nail. There we go. Okay, the key to this, my friends, is to let this dry. Okay, really important. I'm doing this too fast, but you have to let it dry. I can get it off my stinking fingernail. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna take my word sparkle and stamp it. Here. Gorgeous. So I hope you guys like that. This is the new preview for the, um, it's called PK Glitter. You can find it at pkglitter.com. Oh, I went way over. But here's the one um, that I just showed you. And here is the other one. All right, guys, thanks for visiting with the Happy Stamper. Bye-bye.